Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Zombie Derby 2. This was developed and published by Brine Media and at the time of recording has no price so let's assume 5 bucks is it? If I'm wrong then may the Lord that striketh me down, but please don't. So yes, Brine Media are back with another bang with Zombie Derby 2, a surprise follow up to the very awesome Zombie Derby 1. Uh, if you played that, this is obviously rather similar as we drive and smash up some zombie bros and broesses. As for achievements, it's similar if not a bit easier than the first game. We basically have to die twice, flip thrice, do the tutorial, unlock a car, fully upgrade, kill two birds, buy a sticker, get three stars and that's about it. I will try to guide you through the level uh, in the best way I can in order to get this done in the least amount of time possible. So all in all, you may be looking at around 20 to 25 minutes to get this done. So with that being said then, let's do it. So all we will be playing then is the tutorial and the first level, uh, but we'll be replaying them quite a few times. So with the tutorial, it's obviously going to tell you how to do things. So you press the right trigger to go, press the A button to shoot um, by destroying zombies and obstacles. Um, just uh, go for a flip and... Well, it, pretty much I just replayed the tutorial a couple of times just to get a little bit more money going and just to die twice as well. Uh, but it, again, it's easy enough to get through this. As you can see on the left-hand side, you've got full fuel, full nitro, and a lot of machine gun ammo. So you'll obviously be able to get this through this. Uh, press the X button to use the nitrous acid. Do a couple of flips as well, uh, because again, obviously we're going to need the achievement for doing three flips. Now, I'm pretty sure you are supposed to get... Uh, do all three flips on the same level, but not all at once, if that makes sense. Um, I believe, anyway. Uh, so, there we go. Then there is the uh, Vandal Achievement for Dying Twice. You may be able to just smash through the tutorial without any issues. Um, but basically, what I'm just going to be showing you is um, everything that we do in order to just get the achievements. Now, like I said, it doesn't matter that if you die. Again, if you did play the first first game obviously it's very similar whereas every time you die the more zombies you crush the more money you get so the more points the more money you get so um yeah and it's, ob it's obviously needed then for more upgrades which as you'll be able to see in level one we start off with not much fuel not much uh, machine gun ammo and everything so we, we will need everything maxed out in order to complete the first level anyway um, but this should be sort of no problem. You'll, so, you'll sort of get used to uh, absolutely everything. You don't need to get three stars on this level. You can just uh, absolutely gun out. Uh, just go completely flat out. Um, <laughs> see how cool I was? My back wheels. Now, obviously, what... Uh, well, this is the end of it there. So we just lost our truck. No! No! But, again, we will get the, uh, well, in fact, we can get the Stuntman by making three flips. So, ignore me earlier. Um, as long as you do th three flips, doesn't matter how many times you replay it, you will get that one, of course. Uh, and, of course, we've got the first steps achievement for completing the tutorial. When we click on level one, we will also automatically get the first love achievement here for unlocking our first car. So, if you just go ahead and do that. Go, go, Power Rangers. Claim. And we can't, this is the only one we can claim. And this is where it begins then. So, because obviously I would have died a couple of times, in the top left-hand corner you can see how much money you um, have made. For me, I've got 608. Now, as I said, with this first level, we basically need everything, need everything maxed out. And it's not just a case of you driving all the way to the end of the, uh, the first level and getting everything done. You have to be quite um, tactical uh, to finish the level. But first of all then, uh, it doesn't matter what we do, spend all the money that you can, you will get the achievement of the machine gun for buying a gun, you'll get that eventually if you didn't buy it now anyway. Um, so yeah, really, honestly, there's not much left to do apart from now sort of get used to this first level. And what we're actually going to do is kill two birds. Now I believe there's only one in this level, and as you can see again in the top left hand corner, we don't have that much fuel, that much ammo, or that much nitros acidos. So, again, it's really just a case of killing as many zombies as you can, getting as far as you can, until you can upgrade everything. Uh, the bird will be coming up, by the way, so 
I will tell you when to press the X button to get a bit of nitrous. You can do a flip and you can shoot the bird in the air as well. Um, so we'll just, in fact, it is coming up now. So now, press the X button, fly up, and kablamo merge. Sorry, little bird. Oh, yeah. So, uh, and then we've run out of fuel. You can press the X button to go a little bit further to use your nitrous acid if you want, as you can see there. Uh, not that it's going to get us that much further. But that is pretty much what we're going to have to do. Even when we're maxed out, um, we're going to have to use our nitrous uh, our Nitro Nitro in order to uh, complete the level anyway. I'll, I'll obviously show you what I mean later on. So, if you've got a few bits of cash to spend, I I mean, you can do it in any order because we're still going to have to replay the level. You know, depending on if uh, how quickly you die or how far you can get. Maybe five or six times in order to get enough money. I chuck a bit of fuel in just so we can try and get as far as we can. Now, now in the first game, basically, if you had run over zombies, you would have taken sort of more... There was like, a, there was one bar, again, if you haven't played it, there was basically one bar where if you uh, just run over zombies like I was doing, you would take a lot of damage as well as the fuel going down quicker. That's not the case in this one, but the fuel does still run down pretty quickly. So uh, either way, there we go. That was the second bird, by the way. Either way, uh, we're, we're pretty much, uh, yeah, it's, it's a big, it's even more tactically diversive than the first game. But there was the second bird then. Again, if you end up missing the, the bird again for whatever reason, you can, again, since you need to continue on with the game anyway, uh, until we get enough money to fully upgrade everything, you can just either carry on or you can just restart the level. Uh, but otherwise, for now, there we go. We're just going to die. I didn't actually mean to die there. I was just trying to do fun stuff like a backflip. And, of course, I screwed it up again. So, <laughs> Anyway. So, from now, if you have a look, we should only have four achievements left. And that is for fully upgrading the car, buying a sticker, earning a thousand points, and getting three stars in one level. I'm just showing you the end. I would have replayed this. Quite a few times. Again, I think it was about, I think I, personally I replayed this about six or seven times. Um, but uh, if we just go down to the car, go back to the garage, I should now have, there we go. So I should ha now have more than enough in order to buy everything. So fuel we're going to max out, tires we're going to max out, the machine gun ammo we're going to get a lot more of. And then finally is the nitro, the nitrous acido. And with that one, I have just about enough. So I will get the achievement there called Full Set. So again, this, as I said, is after about six or seven times. There's the stickers then with the little uh, tool set symbol right there and the paint symbol. So that uh, obviously we'll just need to get a little bit more money, which indeed I will do now. And yeah, so obviously my next run, I got to about 93% of the way, and that is because I... Uh, sort of, um, I, I didn't take it seriously. I thought we'd be able to just easily get to the end on the petrol. As it turns out, we couldn't. Um, so, yeah. So, choose any sticker that you want. Uh, goes on the side. It's all good. Look at that. It's, it's bloody beautiful, that is mate. And now, we will only have two achievements left. And that's for getting three stars in one level. And earning a thousand points. Which you should get by getting the three stars anyway. Now, to get the three stars, what you have to do is kill... Well, I missed one zombie, but I still managed to get the three, uh, three stars. So try and kill all the zombies that you can. You need to do one backflip or front flip, I believe, and you have to kill the bird. You have to kill the bird and you have to do a backflip in order to get all three stars. Like I said, what you need to do, though, is just uh, take your time. Now, I do advise leaving more of your ammo. Here's the bird, so make sure that you kill this broski. There it is. Now, uh, a couple of times I did have to miss, so I did have to restart the level. But yes, what I would suggest is you leaving um, at least sort of eight or nine pieces of ammo more towards the very end, because there's a lot more explosives and everything like that. So don't just gun it. When you're going downhill, just take your finger off the uh, right trigger in order to just save a little bit of petrol. And again, try not to use as much nitro just yet. As you can see, I just missed the one zombie as well. That's fine. Um, I still managed to get the three stars. So it is literally just like conserving ammo. It's like we're in a Formula One race right here. Conserve your ammo. Look after your tires and all that jazz. Um, so, yeah, that's that's all we got to pretty much do as we just head over the bridge is 
again, this is more about sort of conserving and being a bit more tactical. Uh, obviously, use the nitro when it's needed, like just going over the way right there. Um, it's obviously more tempting to use the nitro when you're going over these little hills and everything. So, as you can see, we're almost about to run out of petroleum. Uh, in fact, we're already there now. So, use your nitro, but use it quite sparingly. This is why I said we need the ammo for the end as well, because we're going to get a whole bunch of stuff coming at us. So, there we go. Did actually try to shoot the barrels, failed that miserably. And this is why, because obviously if we get hit against barrels and stuff, it's obviously going to slow us down. And... There we go. Now you can just make a break for it because there's nothing there. I get out of Nitro, but I do just about make it. So that is, uh, yeah. And I've done that twice then as well. I just about made it. The two times that I did finish the level, I actually just about made it there. But uh, there we go. You should now get your final two achievements, providing you killed all the zombies. In fact, I got the achievement for earning a thousand points when I only got like 800 points. So that's all good. Um, but there we go, guys and gals. So that is Zombie Derby 2. It, that was uh, generally, once again, just like the first game, very, very fun. Uh, but there we go. I hope you enjoyed the game, and I hope you enjoyed the guide as well. If it helped, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout-out to all my Patreon uh, supporters and all my YouTube members as well. Honestly, thank you so, so much, and I will see you in the next one. Big old chunky love nerds.